Hey, what's up guys? Tyler here with Secure Team. I apologize for the lack of posting this past week as I had to deal with some personal family matters, but we're back and there will be much to cover regarding the alien phenomenon and its cover-up. And in today's video, we have some intriguing UFO footage, but before we get to that, I want to touch on some off-planet news, some of which I can't believe isn't being blasted all over the mainstream media as we speak. The first of which which comes from the head chief of NASA, Bill Nelson, who in a recent interview on YouTube basically admitted without actually admitting that we are indeed not alone on this planet. Nelson, a former astronaut and Florida senator, has been NASA's chief administrator since May, and he recently spoke in a live-streamed interview with the University of Virginia in which he tackled everything from space relations with China to the question of unmanned aerial vehicles or UFO sightings. And in the discussion, Nelson says that there have been more than 300 acknowledged sightings that's by the government of these unidentified flying objects objects since 2004, but we all know that that number is much, much larger. During the interview, which I'll post the link to down below and you can watch it, some notable lines that he said were, quote, I've talked to those pilots and they know that they saw something and their radars locked onto it and they know what it was and we don't know what it is, Nelson told Professor Larry Sabato, director of University of Virginia Center for Politics. He went on to say, quote, We hope it's not an adversary here on Earth that has this kind of technology, but it's something. And so this is a mission that we're constantly looking, who is out there? Who are we? How did we get here? How did we become as we are? How did we develop? How did we civilize? And are those same conditions out there in the universe that has billions of other suns and billions of other galaxies? It's so large I can't conceive it. He finished out the interview by saying this. Take a listen. Larry, I don't know the answer to that. But I do know this. That my personal opinion is that the universe is so big. And now there are even theories that there might be other universes. And if that's the case, who am I to say that planet Earth is the only location of a life form that is civilized and organized like ours? But I'll tell you what that makes me think. I better be a better steward of what we have because uh, we're messing it up. But are there other planet Earths out there? I certainly think so because the universe is so big. And of course, Einstein believed in parallel universes. Uh, so that's good enough for me if Einstein uh, now, notice there that when mentioning the possibility of alien life off this world, he doesn't just say possible microbial life, but he uses the words civilized and organized like ours. Civilized and organized. Now, is that a Freudian slip? I don't know. But the fact that he would use those terms as if he already knows the answer and that there are indeed civilized and organized beings out there in the unknown. Now, I've been a veteran, you could say, for 10 years now in this YouTube UFO game, and in interviewing the biggest people in ufology as I have, from the Corbells to the Dr. Greers to meeting Bob Lazar in person, I'd like to think that I have a good sense of reading people and in watching this interview, I can see it in this man's eyes that he knows the truth. And like other past astronauts, he is also hip to the rule of don't talk about it in public when it comes to the UFO phenomenon. And I think one can easily deduce that this man has seen some things and definitely knows that we are not alone. As I said, he very carefully admits it without actually doing so. And as always, you have to read between the lines. So tell me what you think down below. Go and watch that full interview. Now, next in space news, we had Japanese astronomers capture another one of these very mysterious large flashes appear on planet Jupiter. 
Quoting from Space.com, Jupiter hit by another space rock in rare views captured by Japanese sky watchers. It goes on to say, On October 15th, sky watchers in Japan observed a flash in the atmosphere of the planet's northern hemisphere, likely caused by a, quote, asteroid slamming into Jupiter just over a month after a sky watcher in Brazil made a similar observation. The flash felt like it was shining for a very long time to me. Twitter user Yatsuyubi21, who photographed the flash with a Celestron C6 telescope. But this is not the first time we've seen these gigantic planet Earth sized flashes occur on Jupiter, with evidence first being captured back in 1994 when fragments of a comet struck the planet, leaving these massive dark scars along its surface. So it was obvious that it indeed had been hit. They didn't capture the flash, but what they captured was the impact marks on the planet. But on most of these other occasions where these bright, and again, these things are the size or bigger of planet Earth, have been seen often there is no trail or signs of impact to be found on the planet afterwards, which adds to the mystery. Some of those videos and flashes you're seeing here as I'm talking, and I find it very hard to believe that a space rock a couple of meters in diameter, as they've deemed, is capable of creating a giant flash of atomic energy that is bigger than our entire planet. The first video you saw was captured in 2010 and then another in 2016 where you could see very clearly one of these giant mystery flashes occurring on the rim of the planet where the size of this energy burst can truly be visualized. And as I said, I'm not sold on a two meter long space pebble creating these flashes. So I'd like to hear your opinion on just what could be occurring on and around this mysterious gas giant lurking on the outer reaches of the solar system. Just what is creating these giant Earth-like flashes? We may never know, but put it down below. I'm not sold on a space pebble. And so now onto some recent UFO footage sent in by viewers. First, we have a very, very short clip. I don't know why, but this is what we get. And I had to edit out some of the language used in the five second clip but nonetheless the viewer captured what appeared to be a triangular formation of light sitting in the sky or an actual solid object with a light on each corner forming a triangle so check this out can ufo son brandy brandy and again, I'll go ahead and let this loop over a few times. And I wish we had a longer video. I always tell people, don't stop recording in the middle of a UFO sighting. But still, I'm happy to take a look at this footage and get your thoughts of it. It was captured above Springfield, which is in Orlando, Florida. So here is an up-close still shot that has been enhanced of the object of these lights. Tell me what you think. And now on to a much longer piece of UFO footage, and God bless whoever recorded this, but they described it as almost what seemed like a boomerang type UFO that can be seen flying steadily through the sky in a complete straight line, unaffected by wind or anything like that, that just continues to tumble horizontally and spin as it slowly and eerily makes its way through the skies above Port Charlotte, Florida. I don't know. I've never seen anything like it. Right. <laughs> That's like two things attached. They're spinning around each other. And, moving forward. <coughs> and actually, it's moving against the wind. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I 
thought it was a drone, but maybe not. <laughs> what? I said I thought it was a drone, but maybe not. It's not all that small either. Oh, I know. It's sitting still. It's still spinning. It just isn't really moving. And so here are some close-up shots of this object. I'm at a, I'm totally at a loss for words as to what this could be. It definitely seems like a solid object. I don't think this is a drone. I don't think it's a kite. I don't think it's swamp gas or a weather balloon. And the way the object just steadily moves and spins at the same time, it's a, it's a very strange and different UFO sighting than what we're used to seeing. It's not just a couple of lights up in the sky. And lastly today, we have footage of what was only described to me, and I don't have a time or location for this unfortunately, but a viewer stated that they noticed what appeared to them to be a very bright glowing orb, again moving steadily through the skies. They said it was not a plane, not a helicopter, and as you can see in the video, I mean this thing is just one bright white ball of light. And it stays that way as it moves through the sky. So with that guys, tell me what you think. We have some UFO footage, we have Earth-sized flashes occurring on planet Jupiter and the head of NASA talking about structured and civilized extraterrestrial life off-planet. Put your comments down below, throw this video a like, and if there's one thing the algorithm loves, it's likes, subscribes, and comments. So, let's continue spreading the truth. You guys mean the world to me. More strange mysteries and UFO footage is coming, so click that notification bell. Stay tuned, stay safe, and I'll see you guys back in just a bit.